This section of the Start Making Biodiesel DVD shows the extraction process of separating oil and water. My name is Yao. I'm a UT graduate uh, in biology. Okay, I'm Brittany. I'm going to be talking with you guys, finding out exactly how this process goes. And now I'm introducing... My name is Kofi, and I'm also a UT graduate, uh, study electrical engineering. Okay, perfect. So we are learning about exactly what? Bi biodiesel and how to make it. And they're going to give us a breakdown of how that works. Okay, so why don't you start our process? Okay, so um, I see that he is pouring the vegetable oil into a pot on the stove. Now, why is that? Um, typically, the waste oil that you get from a restaurant or whatever source typically has water in it, just from the food that was cooked in it. And you don't know actually how much water is in the oil. So you want to extract the oil out. And there's two different ways of doing this. Um, what he's doing right now is heating up the oil in order to evaporate the water out but not the oil and in doing so he's just separating in, uh, the, the water and the oil and this is a much more energy consuming way of doing it um, if you're more patient you can just let the mixture sit there and it'll eventually separate into two layers on its own but that typically takes much more time so by doing this um, it's a good example of seeing that one you're not going to blow yourself up heating oil I mean it, it's kind of self-evident but uh, more so, you can see that it doesn't take very much time to boil off all the water. Um, you want to make sure not to heat it up too much to the point where the oil gets too hot and you start having water splashing out because it's not fun for anyone. Um, and this is just a really easy way of going through this part. Okay, so, um, so how long would you say to just leave it there? Uh, 25 to 20 minutes depending on the, the content but you should really shoot for uh, just maintaining a temperature over 100 degrees but below 150 uh, you want the water to be boiling off but you don't really want the oil to uh, become a part of that process okay that's cool so what happens after the oil becomes hot. What do, what do you do next? Uh, you just let it sit. Um, the water evaporates on its own and after that you can let it cool and you'll s hopefully have uh, a pure oil solution and then from there you can begin the rest of the process. Okay.